Hello, I'm Sarah, the creator of Sewing Therapy. You may have heard that hand sewing can be a therapeutic activity, but for days when you require more efficiency, it's time to bring out your sewing machine. Did you know that most sewing machines can sew button holes and buttons? While it can feel intimidating to tackle a new skill, I hope that by sewing with me, you will feel empowered to try making your own button holes and sewing your buttons using your sewing machine. Are you ready to give it a try? Let's get started! Mark where you want to make the button holes. Place the button in the rear sliding guide of the buttonhole foot and adjust the slider to fit your button. This step helps ensure that the buttonhole is the correct size for your button. Remove the current foot and attach the buttonhole foot. Lower the buttonhole lever, sliding it in place within the middle guide on the buttonhole foot. Most sewing machines have a buttonhole function that automatically sews a buttonhole. Place the fabric under the buttonhole foot with the buttonhole mark centered under the foot. And sew. The machine will automatically stitch the buttonhole according to the settings you've chosen. I like to apply fray prevention liquid, which helps me regret frays after cutting the buttonhole open. Allow the fray prevention liquid to dry completely. It's time to cut the buttonholes open. Here are two methods. The most common method involves using pins, snips, and a seam ripper. The pins prevent you from accidentally clipping the top or bottom of the buttonhole. Alternatively, I like to use a chisel to open buttonholes. Don't forget to use a mat or board under your fabric. Now it's time to attach the buttons. Match up the buttonhole side over the button side of your garment. Using your new buttonholes, mark through the centers onto the fabric where you want to attach your buttons. Replace the presser foot with a button foot. Ensure the mark is centered under the button foot, then place the button centered directly over the mark and lower the foot, holding the button and fabric in place. Using a zigzag stitch, manually turn the hand wheel and adjust the width to match the button holes. Once you have the right width, change the stitch length to the shortest setting. Make sure the needle goes through both holes and slowly sew a few stitches. I like to leave long thread tails for a neater finish. With the right settings, attaching any additional buttons is quick and easy. For a neat finish, use a needle to tie the dress on the inside of the garment. Now that I've walked you step by step through this process, I hope you feel prepared to use your sewing machine for all your button needs. If you are anything like me, 
You may have a pile of clothes in the back of your closet waiting to be mended. Grab all those shirts and pants with missing buttons and using your sewing machine, attach those buttons and move your garments back into rotation of regular wear. Thank you for joining me on Sewing Therapy for CBC Life and I will see you on my next episode. Annyeong!